Today, I'm gonna to show you how to access your built-in web camera using Windows 10. The first step is to go into the settings of Windows by clicking on the Start button icon on the bottom left-hand corner, clicking on the Settings icon, and clicking on the Privacy tab. On the left-hand side, you'll see a camera icon. Click on it, and then on the right-hand side, you can see a list of applications that have been given access to your built-in camera. I've already turned on the camera application so that it has access to my camera. If it's not turned on, go ahead and turn it on. And if you're using any other applications such as Skype, Zoom, or OBS, go ahead and turn them on in this section as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and open the camera app that's part of Windows 10. To find it, go into the search field on the bottom left-hand corner, type in the word camera, and the camera app should open up in a window in the middle of the screen. You can go into photo mode or video mode, depending on your preference. You'll also notice a green light next to the camera to indicate that your camera is currently in recording mode. If you would like to record your video, click on record. And if you'd like to use other applications such as Skype or Zoom, you can also go in and configure your webcam and your microphone accordingly. Let's have a quick look at that. So for example, if we open up the Zoom application, click on new meeting and you should see your video appear and you should find that Zoom will automatically pick up the built-in camera for the video source. If it doesn't, you can click on the video icon and have a look at whether you have any other video sources available and toggle between them until your camera is activated. And you can also click on the arrow next to the microphone to check that you're using the correct microphone for the recording. I've got the Throm Max M Drill 1 connected via USB, and that is selected as my audio source, and that means I'm ready to start my video stream. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you found this information useful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.